Is there such a thing as partial disability for Social Security disability purposes? I'm Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm a Social Security disability attorney, and I get this question from time to time. Can I get on disability if I have a partial disability, meaning that I can't do a full physical job, but I can do something that I'm not trained for? For example, I went to school to be a nurse, but I can be a greeter at Walmart. Can I pursue partial disability. I can't do my existing occupation. Uh, and the answer to that is no. Social Security uh, will pay you disability benefits only if you are fully disabled. Uh, Long-term disability might pay you if you can't perform your existing occupation. They, those are called own occupation clauses in these policies. But for Social Security, you are either disabled or you're not. And you may be trained as a medical doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, a nurse, uh, it could be a teacher, but if you're able to be a greeter at Walmart, if you're able to be a textile inspector, if you can do what I call a warm body job, you are not disabled. It does not matter that you'd be earning minimum wage. It doesn't matter that you couldn't feed your family with that. It doesn't matter that it's not on a bus line. It doesn't matter that you'd be bored to tears. The question is, could you perform one of these simple entry level jobs, no matter what your uh, training your experience. And it doesn't matter that you'd be overqualified based on your education. It doesn't matter that there's no jobs that really exist in your, in your neighborhood. The question is if they exist in the region or national economy and you have the capacity to do it, uh, you would not be disabled. So um, I've had a number of clients where they'll say to me, for example, well, Jonathan, I'm a truck driver. That's all I've ever done, all I know and I can't do that anymore, so I'm disabled. Like, no, um, even if you don't think you could do it, um, being a telephone receptionist, where you have a sit-stand option, that might be something you could do. Or being, again, a, a textile inspector or a foil wrapper where you're wrapping things for packing, or um, a surveillance system monitor. These may not be jobs you've ever heard of or even thought about, but if you could perform it, you are not disabled. So there is no such thing as partial disability for social security disability purposes. And again, you've got to show that you can't do anything at all. And that's, by the way, a reason um, why uh, Social Security, um, uh, uh, if you work part-time, that Social Security judges may find that you are not disabled because part-time work, in their mind, says you're doing a certain level of work. And maybe if you had more hours, because they're going to assume a lot of part-time jobs are part-time because the, the, the boss only gave you a certain number of hours. If you had more hours, you could do it. Or perhaps if you worked a little bit harder and you could go to full-time, or if you took a part-time, this, this part-time job, and you took another job that was a little bit easier, you could do it. So even though you think that work attempts or part-time work would help you, my experience has been that work attempts that don't work, failed work attempts, will help you because it shows that you tried but couldn't do it. But ongoing part-time work tends to hurt you because, again, judges assume that if you could do ongoing part-time work, you could possibly do ongoing full-time work as well. So that's my take on that. No such thing as partial disability. I invite you to visit my website, ssdanswers.com. You can download my free Secrets to Winning Disability Survival Kit or ask for a case evaluation. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. A lot of great videos uh, here and coming up. And I've also got a podcast at SSD Radio where you can subscribe to that. Uh, it's a lot of free information about Social Security Disability. I encourage you to take advantage of it. This is Jonathan Ginsberg wishing you the best. Hi, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to know more about how to win your Social Security Disability case, I'd like to invite you to download my Secrets to Getting Approved Early Survival Kit that I created just for people like you. Currently, I'm making the survival kit available at no cost, and I encourage you to grab your copy now. Some of the topics I cover include, how do I know if I have a case? Is it the right time for me to file my claim? Nine common mistakes that can doom your case. The three must-have arguments you use to win your case. And a topic that every disability claimant wants to know, how to avoid trick questions from the judge. If you or a loved one need to win Social Security Disability Benefits, you'll find the Survival Kit Essential Reading. Download your Survival Kit right now and at no cost. Just visit ssdanswers.com backslash survival and sign up. It's that easy. Please act now 
And as always, I wish you the best.